What up, what up, y'all? This is Experienced RC. Today, we're going to be showing you how to put back a freaking disassembled slash 4x4. I mean, as you can see, well, this isn't fully disassembled because I put some parts back together already. I mean, this was taken apart before. Like the differential, the arms, and shocks. You know, I did shocks in the other video. Well, everything is done. Everything I wanted to do is now complete. So, we're just going to get to putting it back together, you know. Maybe run it, maybe not. Maybe trying to keep it clean for now. Let it be a carpet racer for a while, like a mini low seat. But the thing is, you got to remember, this is not the size of a mini low seat. If you smash this into a wall, there will be consequences. So, the first thing we were going to do now is attach the servo you know because the servo you gotta really be like you know careful with that shit because you gotta line up everything perfectly I did everything is still attached all of this is still attached so I'm gonna have to put this all on while they're still connected you know I gotta find the position of every single item on the board so you know this shouldn't be that hard I mean See, it's already falling into place. Something like this, you know. And actually, it's more like this. And, um, this shit, like this. Alright, so I'm gonna wanna put this in here, like this. Put the servo in. Servo is supposed to be in this way. Put it under. So, everything looks like it's lined up now. You know, I'm already liking the look of this chassis with the electronics on it. This is how it's supposed to look. The horn is sticking out the back. I'm going to get to unscrewing. I mean, I'm going to get to screwing this shit on. And I'm going to get right back to you guys. Alright, now that everything is screwed on to the chassis, as you can see, it's not falling out. It's all tight. I re-greased the silicone seal, the rubber seal inside the receiver box. So, you know, I used um, marine grease with that shit. And um, now it's all re waterproofed, you know. And um, everything is on. Now we're going to get to putting on the Nerf bars. Alright, I'll get back to you guys once I install that. Alright, now that that's complete, the Nerf bars are completely on, you know, tight, ready to go, ready for some crashes on the side impact area. You know, just in case someone tries to be an asshole, hit me from the side, you know. My shell might get cracked, but my chassis won't. It's a little shock support for my electronics, you know what I'm saying. Alright, so now I'm going to attach the chassis to the front assembly. I'll be right back when that is done. Alright, now everything is put together on the front except for the servo. I'm just going to tell you guys right now how to put the freaking front assembly onto the chassis. You know, there's only four screws holding it. This is why Traxxas is liked by a lot of people because it's simple. You know, these two screws, that one, two, three, and four. You take those four out, your, com your front completely falls out. Alright? Now it's going to be to do the servo. The servo, basically, you're just going to want to, you know, push it into place. You're going to actually just like, you, you're going to want it to be straight, so make sure when you have the horn position, you make sure you have it in the right position, alright? Alright, now I'm going to get to it. I'll be back once I get back and I'll, I'll get to this once. I'll get back to you once this is finished. What's good, you're going to want to put the freaking drive shaft back in. Make sure it has a good gear mesh over here. You know, and now we're going to be putting on the rear assembly to the chassis. So, here's the rear assembly. You know, I'm just going to, it's just going to be like this. It's going to be like this. Alright. Um, I don't have, I have to put the spare, the spur gear on, slipper clutch assembly. You know, that shit. You're going to want to make sure this screw is tight because that's what holds in this, you know. 
and also when you're putting this back together make sure you put your bearing you pop it in tight because if it's loose when you press the trigger man it's gonna kill the bearing and rip it apart alright I've known that by experience so don't let my experience be yours too alright